year, there's an opportunity yes. for growth, for change, and for betterment. And I was thinking the fact that how often do we take the time to invest in ourselves, to our conversation, and to avoid those that take too much from us and they're not giving enough back. To be more mindful of our boundaries, be more mindful of those who may not be worthy of us and what we bring to the table. So again, just being more discerning about who takes our time, our energy, who we provide that time with, and who's worthy of us. Mm. Very nice. Mine is slightly opposite. Because I have to make time now. I see people putting in time, then I'm always like, because I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, you're doing everything on your own. And you don't want to miss out on these different opportunities, but you have to be able to balance your life. And you know, people put in the time, and you're like, you know what, I'm busy, I'm busy. So now, this year, I'm going to be like, you know what, I do need time for Eric. I do need time for a relationship, just to build that foundation, you know, whatever it is for the relationship. And I can see that in myself that I haven't been doing that. So I put that, I can take accountability. Y'all see that? <laughs> take accountability for my shit. Yeah. A lot of people ask, it's always like, this is what I want someone to bring to the table. I want this, 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 this. But it's also like, what do you give? And what I was talking about is maybe uh, surprising my partner with dinner, or if they mentioned a cologne or something, a tie in passing. Uh, what I realize is sometimes men don't even want these very grand things. It's just little gestures to say that you're listening to them and that you care about what they're saying. And so um, just surprising them with something small and just trying to make their day easier. Um, so yeah, reciprocity, short and sweet. Mm, very nice. Adrian, great.